Hello and welcome. In this week's mini episode, we try a 20 litre water bag and it doesn't quite go to plan. And I have another practice cruise. We'll also share a little update on our travel plans for this year. And we head to Tottenham for the eighth birthday party of the Antwerp Arms being a community owned pub. Boop, 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 bobbing along. Hey, I'm Stuart. And I'm Emmy. We're child-free after infertility and newly living on a narrow boat. We're sharing our adventure here and you're welcome to join us. I'm going to test out my new water bottle and get 20 litres of water to top us up. Very exciting. Uh, and this is the bag. Um, unscrew this bit, fill it up and we've got 20 litres of water. That's quite nifty though, as long as it doesn't move. Why would it move? Why would it move? Yeah. Because uh, it's a big bag full of water, it might just randomly roll. We're not on. It doesn't matter, it doesn't care that it's square, it nearly rolled into the canal when I put it down for a sec. Okay. <laughs> I'm on my way to get some water. <laughs> We've had a problem with our water because Stu got um, this sort of uh, water bag thing for camping that you could sort of fill up like 20 litres of water and then it flattens back down and packs away like a bag. And we tried it out uh, over the Easter weekend and discovered that our water tastes absolutely disgusting. I think there must be, he'd rinsed it out, this bag thing, but there must have been some kind of plasticky residue in there that's just gone into our water tank. Like it's really, really vile, undrinkable water. Um, and of course it happened over the bank holiday weekend, so we couldn't buy any water. Uh, been a little bit dehydrated because it is that disgusting. Uh, but we've realised the coffee tastes okay. And I think, we think it's because the coffee goes through this really thick filter. And we do have a filter jug, but we're really lazy about changing the filters. Um, I don't know if this is faffier than having like the normal Brita filters, but we've got these eco-friendly refillable filters. But I'm going to do that and hopefully that will help because literally um, there must be something in that water, some sort of plastic, which is quite freaky actually, that it just was 20 litres in that big tank, just made the whole, whole tank taste vile. Okay, so it's the moment of truth. The new filter is soaked, we've done two run-throughs of water, and it's time to see if it has solved the plastic taste from that plastic bag thing. It's still, I can still taste something, but it's better. Like it's uh, Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's so much better. Uh, I have a guitar to finish, um, but I have a stack of work to do before that, uh, because I'm thinking, as we're now starting to get a little bit further away from London, in a way this is where things start to become interesting, um, because I need to be much more careful with how I plan and use my time. So I'm getting maybe like two days in the workshop at the moment. So I need to make sure that anything I do in the workshop is stuff that then can I can bring back here and finish off. Uh... It's the end of April already and we haven't filmed a lot this month. It's been a bit of a stressful month. We haven't really been filming. Um, so this is kind of a fast forward to the end of April <laughs> and uh, I think it's going to be a nice day. The sun's out. We, I think there's like a floating market here in Berkhamstead where we've been moored for a couple of weeks. Uh, so we're going to go see that, look at the charity shops, head into London and tomorrow we're cruising. Well, it was all a bit rushed, um, but we've made it to the station for our train, which is delayed, and we ran into um, a couple of our subscribers on our way to the station, um, which Stu, who Stu had met before, and I hadn't, and I didn't really get a chance to introduce myself properly or say hi properly because we were worried about the train, but it was really, really nice to meet you briefly. And now we're off into London.
So we're cruising today, leaving Berkhamsted and heading to Treng, uh, and a cruise we've done quite a few times now. We've been in this area for a while. The plan is for me to have a little practice at driving. Yeah, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. Let's go. So my drive ended in stress tears and Stu had to take over. Um, and yeah, time to try again. <laughs> While Emmy's doing some lovely driving, uh, let me tell you about our change of plans. We have decided that we are going up north. You may remember that we talked about heading to London, which we sort of did, sort of, uh, but we have decided that we're going to go up north and carry on up north. Um, we have a relative up north, uh, Emmy's gran, who we would like to be close to for a while. We would also just really like to carry on exploring the UK waterways. Uh, so we are pushing on up, 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 north, north, north. We're moored up at Tring. I managed to drive, um, and I'm not. I'm, <laughs> well, I just don't feel amazing today. So, and it was a bit stressful, and it was a failed attempt. So, I'm really happy I did manage to drive again and drive the rest of the drive. Uh, it's May the first, so it's May Day morning, uh, bank holiday today. Time to change the calendar page. We've got very little to do today, which is really nice. But yeah, it's just nice to not have any any great pressures to do anything today. Uh, I've got some more plants that I want to plant. Um, and maybe a bit of video stuff that we're just trying to get through. But otherwise, yeah, it's nice. Hannah and Hannah Nana's microgreens. Uh, local Tottenham business. Um, they are. I have opened these up and looked at them, but they. It was a while ago, so I don't fully remember. So basically, uh, water some mud. <laughs> that is my first task. In this box, we have radish mix, uh, broccoli, and peas. Well, these are all very healthy, apparently. Right. Take off white coat. Put it in the bin down there. Mm, I'm doing a beautiful job. Three trays, three trays. Micro greens. Pushing down with our fingers. We push down with another tray. It says. It just says press them down. 
Um, we stack them one on top of the other and we cover them in foil once the pea seeds are in. Good, good, good. Found some more wood. It's such a beautiful day to live on a narrowboat. Look at this. Look at this. Gorgeous. I'm gonna have to see if I can drag Emmy out for a couple of seconds to have a look around. She's um, got quite a full on day today. Good morning, it's Monday morning. Um, we are, no it's Sunday morning, sorry. Um, we're going back into London today. Uh, Emmy's got a market on at the Antwerp Arms, which is our old local. Um, I was in yesterday and we were both in Friday so it's been quite full on but also it's quite nice and we're currently getting to the stage now where we're moving away from London I mean we're back in train but we're moving on we're moving tomorrow so yeah we're moving further and further away from London so personally I'm just trying to make the most of it a bit because I love living in the countryside I love living on a boat but I do miss London sometimes I miss going out in London and um, you know, it, it's been my home for 18 years. Uh, anyway, my herbs. Just having a quick look at them this morning and they're sort of bursting. So, sorry about my dressing gown, but look at this. Not herbs, microgreens. Look at those guys. And then this is the don't remember what that is uh, and oh my god <laughs> that's amazing Emmy have you seen our little garden are they ready to eat no <laughs> <laughs> what they look like bean sprouts I mean yeah they cut pot done now at um, the Antwerp Arms. The Annie's 8th birthday party yeah. being a community party. Uh, we're going to go take a quick picture of somewhere and then we're going to go home to our Annie. <laughs> holiday Monday uh, and we are finally gonna head north of Tring again um, we've got to do it's not very I haven't got very far to do we could probably walk it in about an hour uh, but it's gonna take us longer than that because we've got to do the Marsworth flight which is seven locks but what I did see when we got back is my little microgreens have really shot up and they've turned super green so let me pause this video and I'll show you. Look at my little microgreens. The peas haven't started to, they're still shoots at the moment, uh, except for this one guy, but I think he's uh, uh, a radish or something. Um, <laughs> yeah, they've, they've really shot up, um, all of them. I mean, these are still shot up quite a bit. 
Oh, and the, my radishes are looking all nice and big and healthy. Uh, like they could maybe use a bit more water, but nice and big and healthy. My chilies and my tomatoes are starting to come through as well. It's very exciting. We've just set off. Uh, not a very long cruise today, technically, just very lucky. Hey. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just nearly fall in the canal? Absolute knob. <laughs> Someone was. First one of Marsworth. Shoo, shoo. You need to go that side. There's a big boat coming. It was a windy day and we didn't want to risk harming the duck or her ducklings in the lot. Thanks to volunteers and helpful children, we're down Marsworth Locks already, I think. Turns out it's at least nine locks, not seven, because there's a little flight or two at the bottom of Marsworth. Um, so, uh, it's really pretty though. Look, this person's the old lock keeper's house, and then they've got like a, what looks like maybe an old waterworks that they're converted into a lock workshop. Plus they've got their own more in as well, it's lovely. Oh, no, Andy's getting away from me, so I'm gonna to to stop filming. <laughs> Time for me to drive on my own through the swing bridge of doom that, uh, it's too heavy for me to open when we came, where it was when we came through before. Probably still is. Nightmare Swing Bridge, which is still just about as stiff as I remember it being. Uh, I'm now stuck on this side. Annie and Emmy are there. So Emmy's doing a second little solo moving to get herself through the swing bridge and on the bank on the other side, on the on the towpath on the other side. Yeah, reverse if you want to slow down. Hey, nicely done. Nicely done. I did it. You did. Uh, we are between Leighton Buzzard and Tring. 
near closest station at the moment is uh, Cheddington, so which is where I'm going to walk into. I'm just walking back to the main road. One way you've got Pitstone, the other way you've got Cheddington. I think we're going to walk up through Pitstone tomorrow, so I figured I might as well head to Cheddington and walk that way. There's a little, there's not much, but there's a little kind of like village store at both could just use some more cereal and some bread and stuff like that so just gonna go do that and uh, take you on an adventure so this is the road into Pitstone one way and Cheddington the other. It's not far actually. Uh, so Cheddington is just that way, uh, which is where I'm going to walk to. Um, not quite sure what's going on with this little car park here. Uh, there's bins in it and there's signs everywhere saying no fly tipping. And of course, the bins are completely fully fly tipped. But it does look like there's some green bins and we have got a little bit of excess waste, so let's have a quick look. Rats. That's what's at these bins. Rats. Lots of rats. Pretty well stocked at convenience store, that. So I think those hills over there are the downs. There's the crossing back over to Pitstone, so it isn't actually very far. But I'm going to try going down this country road here because there should be a footpath down there. Yep. Still not convinced it doesn't look like the start of a horror film. Heading down a dark bridge towards a picturesque but slightly creepy looking farmhouse. But I'm sure it's fine. Ooh, look at the flowers. <laughs> This is the uh, continuation of the circular walk uh, and definitely not where I get murdered by uh, country, good old country boy with three fingers and a chainsaw. Look everyone, rusty farm material and corrugated iron. And of course I'm walking towards mechanical chainsaw sounds. Of course. There he is. It was just some lovely folks from CRT doing some maintenance. Well, thankfully he got back with the shopping before the rain started. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please do hit the like button to let us know. And if you've got any questions, please let us know down below. See you in a couple of weeks.